What's going on, all my chat room dogs out there? It's your boy, Dean. Hey, man, shout out to all y'all, man. I appreciate all you guys like and subscribing. Guys, before we even get in this, guys, I really got to know what you think about this. We got to talk. You know, um, hey, listen, one thing about you guys is I got your back. And one thing I always like to do is keep it a buck. And what a lot of people don't understand is how you move when you first meet a woman is going to give her permission to do either disrespectful stuff to you or show you respect. Now, I, I got we got to watch this. I don't even know. I don't even think, and I'm being dead ass with you, I don't even think I can play this whole thing through and then go into the reaction because I'm so mind blown by what I just saw. Gentlemen, we're going to watch this and we're going to have to pause this because there's no mother, man, uh-uh, no. You got to see this. Let, let, and we're going to have to stop it. We're going to have to break this down. But let, let's look at this. Here we go. Look at him. Y'all see this? Look at me. I had to stop it right there. Look at you, man. All right, gentlemen, please understand this. This is why Unc is always telling you a few things. This is why Unc always tell you guys to stop telling women how beautiful they are. This is why Unc always tell you stop telling her how sexy, how desirable, and all that stuff. And every time you do that, you make these women feel entitled to not only talk down to you, but also disrespect you. And gentlemen, how many times have I told you guys out there, do not take her to dinner. Do not feed her. Guys, I always tell you, if you're going to do one thing, guys, you take it a leg, spread your ass cheeks, you get a loaf of bread, and you feed her 99-cent loaf of bread. And, it, and because the summer's out and everything, you want to take it to the corner of your face in a pillow and your ass up in the air and get her ice cream, coffee, or iced tea or iced coffee or something like that. Uh, and also, guys, for all you guys that late at night that you want to do something smooth, now you can't do cocoa, but you can take it to a nice restaurant on the corner, my dick on your forehead, my balls in your mouth, and get like a wine or something, something light. But, gentlemen, by no means are we going to feel these women and this woman right here has the nerve the mitigated gall to not only front this guy who is taking her out but she's putting him on front street and this mother man look at this i had to I, i'm sorry guys don't get mad at me that guys don't get mad at me i told you it's gonna be hard for me to play this all the way through without saying something i'm, I'm sorry i had to say something man look Stop thinking that these women are special and stop talking to them like they are special. She's not special. Let's get into this, guys. I see how I look right now. This man that brought me on a date to Shake Shack. Like, of all places. Bruh. Look at him. Bruh, you, you got all the like chains and stuff like that on your neck. Like that girl, but you, it Shake Shack it, she is might have been wrong. wrong. Shake. Shake Shack is nothing wrong. Then you order the chicken sandwich and stuff. Like, it's nothing wrong with Shake Shack. Shake Shack is a good... Let me tell you something, gentlemen. See, this is where I see. Okay, gentlemen, please understand this. As much as I like to get mad at her, man, we got to look at the individual. Remember, when a woman can recognize you have a tight pussy, you're thirsty, you're needy, you're desperate, and you're soft, you're giving her the okay to do what she wants to do. And what she wants to do in this situation is really be disrespectful to this man. He spent money to take her out to lunch. And because she didn't like it, she started walking all over him. See, gentlemen, remember the dog walk happened not when they're at the Shake Shack. The dog walk happened the moment they met and the moment she realized she could take advantage of him. Here we go. Check this out. Man, this is, this is crazy, man. Spot. You really? You so you could have took me nowhere else better than Shake Shack. And Shake Shack is a good spot to go to. I mean, this is what you got me. Any other That's female it. would have loved to go to Shake Shack. You got me two sandwiches and, and a they, drink. So what? And it cost me $50 for just this. This part. Gentlemen, this is what I'm talking about. $50 for. Why would you do that? Gentlemen, here's what I'm saying. If she had a problem with the Shake Shack, why didn't you say something when I told you I was taking you to the Shake Shack? 
But gentlemen, this is what we would do. What we would do is we would just uh you you take your you take you take your hands like this, right? You stick them up like this, and then you lower them to your thighs and you straighten out your pants as you slide and get up. You grab that tray, you go to the front and say, I like to get this to go. Can you bag it up? Bag up all that stuff. Take it in your car, drive home, and have that meal later on tonight. You do not ever allow a woman to disrespect you, but it is dis... Gentlemen, listen to me. It is actually disrespectful to feed her right now. (laughs) Excuse me. Because what you're saying is you're saying that I'm not good enough, and the only way that I can impress you is by trying to buy a $50 two chicken. <clears throat> Man, it's, it makes me allergic in French fry meal. That is, cra- that is absolutely crazy. Let us continue. It cost you $50. $50. It cost me $50. Let me see the receipt. You ain't got to see the receipt. That's how much it costs. You want to see the receipt? Gentlemen, look, man, I, you know, I, I don't listen. It's hard not to blame the guy when you guys don't have a standard. When you don't have a standard, all you're saying to her is just walk all over me. I'm not good enough. Walk all over me. Uh, make, make me feel bad. Gentlemen, come on. Y'all have to learn this game and y'all have to get gamed up. You cannot allow a woman to talk crazy to you. You cannot allow a woman to disrespect you because she doesn't like the chicken that she has right there. She's all mad. The fuck? Let us continue. You act like you ungrateful. That's why I didn't want, don't even like going on dates and stuff like that. I mean, I mean, you be going out spending hundreds of thousands at the club and stuff like that. I don't see I mean, why I gotta come and shake shit. The thing about it, why you count my pockets? But see, okay, gentlemen, I'm starting to see what's going on. So I think this guy was leading with his wallet and trying to floss by trying to show his money and all this other stuff. And then she got the interpretation that, you know what, if you got all this money and you're throwing all this money around, you should take me to a nicer spot because that's what I feel I deserve. And the only reason she feels like she deserves it is because she's not into him. See, gentlemen, when a woman is into you, she doesn't care where she takes you. It doesn't matter. But the problem is, is that because she's not interested in them, she's going to say, okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of my time, but what am I going to get into this? And I don't like what I'm seeing right here. This is terrible. This is, this is lunch. You, feel me? you said, let's go out for lunch. Surprise me. And I took you to Shake Shack. And this is how you act. And this is the best surprise you could have got. Go ahead. I'm start recording. Back, I'm already, you, I'm you already in there. I'm going to show the internet. Yeah, I'm show them. You feel me? Show them. But you want to. But see, here's a problem, big dog. You can't record her recording you when it is you that kissed her ass, when it was you that begged her out, when it was you that told her where you're taking her, and it is you right now sitting right across from her letting her blatantly disrespect you in your face with the meal that you pay for right in front of you. So if you grab that telephone and if you try to record her, this is going to be a bad look for you because look, y'all guys got to remember we're the leaders and how you lead and how you move and how you operate is very important in the game. Here we go. Order like you still order like you want to eat. You still about to eat I ain't sandwiches. said the food was nasty. I just said I wanted I know, something but you else. You wanted to go to what? Where you want to go? What do you want to go? I mean, shoot, I'm leaving right here in, in uh, the South Side. I mean, all these fancy restaurants over here. We couldn't have got. Man, come on, dog. This is what I'm saying, man. When are we going to start having a standard and stop allowing women to look at us like a bunch of bank accounts and gumps? Gentlemen, y'all cannot move like suckers. The moment, gentlemen, the moment she sees you have a tight pussy, she's going to make these demands. And making these demands is something that she can only say to a soft motherfucker. And I'm just saying, look how he's moving. He hasn't even got out of his seat yet. Something at least gave me some silverware. We could have went that for dinner. Look, okay, I'm, but check this out. I'm check this out. 
for that for dinner, man. See the see this is see this is why y'all can't blame women. This is I know y'all want to get mad at women. You want to blame women. You want to point the finger at women, but you can't point the finger at a woman when it is you that's allowing her to come in your life and walk all over you and disrespect you. And now he's trying to, now he, he, he feels like, okay, I'm losing out on the pussy. So let me go ahead and see if I can rectify this. No, hold on, hold on. Right I'm, now, I'm, about to, I'm about to prove a point though. Man, Pick look. up your fork. Pick up your fork. Let me see your fork. Oh, because what she's saying is that ragged little fork right there is not a real piece of silverware. It's just a little piece of wood that clings on to the, the French fries, the cheese covered fries with the bacon bits. But that's, I mean, again, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about right here. Gentlemen, I, I, I already, I mean, how do y'all miss this, gentlemen? Do you not see the insecurity in the weave? That's not her hair. That's not her hair. The nose ring in her nose. We ain't in high school no more. Look at that shit. That, gentlemen, y'all have to have a greater standard for yourself and stop giving these women who walk like a bunch of lies, who really don't love themselves, to walk around and dictate to you how you should move, gentlemen. Never stop. Tell her how beautiful she is. Stop taking her out to eat and look at her for what she actually is. Low self-esteem, low self-worth, and very insecure. But gentlemen, the most important thing here is, is that when a woman who has low self-esteem, low value, and low self-worth and she can see that in a male, then she is going to feel more confident in herself and then start to demand because she can recognize emotional, effeminate males. She would never do this to a man. So what I want to know from you guys out there that's listening, what are, you, what are we doing, man? What's the, what's the move, guys? What is the move? I want to know. If you were to ask her out and she said no to the Shake Shack and started popping her mouth like this, what are we doing here? Are we going to entertain her? Are we going to justify? Are we going to beg? Are we going to barter? Or are we going to get the fuck up, get our food, and move on and cancel her and charge her to the game, gentlemen? This is why the game is so important. This is why being one thought, one what one thought, one mind, one way is important. And if you're ready to do that, guys, go ahead. Get a hey, send me that email to manmindset at gmail.com. Ask for your pathway. Start the process now so you don't have to end up like this guy over here with a woman who doesn't has no regard of who he is as a man, gentlemen. Guys, I want to know what your thoughts are. I appreciate the time, but guys, this is terrible. This is sickening. Gentlemen, please stop allowing these raggedy women to feel that they have the right to tell you what to do, look in your pockets, tell you what to do and how to move. There, there's just no, gentlemen, listen, I, listen, I know a lot of you feel like, you know what, uh, she's beautiful and she's all this. And I would do, man, come on, man. When a woman recognizes she's got you, she is going to utterly disrespect you. So, gentlemen, let us wake up and and we've got to draw a line in the sand and start really valuing ourselves and caring about what we do. Gentlemen, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Please appreciate yourself. Let me know in the comments what you think, brother. Holla at your boy.